In Virginia, where the Virginia Tech shootings killed 32 people, there is no waiting period for a firearm. Even a so-called assault rifle, similar to those used in Orlando and San Bernardino. We sent a CBS News producer into a gun store in Alexandria, just outside of Washington, D.C. I would like to buy an AR-15. Per Virginia law, she provided two items to prove state residency, a driver's license and a voter ID card, as well as her passport to prove U.S. citizenship. She filled out these federal and state forms requiring her name, date of birth, social security number, and a few basic questions about any past criminal activity or current restraining orders. And she passed a brief electronic background check. Did this all go through? It did. Okay. You've been approved. All told, it took 38 minutes and $1,030 for her to walk out of the store legally armed with this rifle, 100 rounds of ammunition, and a 30-round magazine. Throughout most of America, you can go into a gun store and buy an AR-15, just like you'd go into a Starbucks and buy a cup of coffee. Virginia is one of 41 states with no waiting period beyond the background check. Four states and Washington, D.C. impose a waiting period on all firearms, ranging from 10 days in California and D.C. to 24 hours for long guns in Illinois. Minnesota requires a week-long wait for handguns and assault weapons. Four other states, including Florida, only require a waiting period for handguns. Generally, handguns are subject to more extensive commercial sale restrictions because those are the weapons of choice for most criminals. Handguns are used far more often to commit crimes. Our patchwork quilt of gun laws is destined to be ineffective. Miguel Angel Honorato. At a rally outside the NRA Tuesday, gun control supporters renewed their calls for stricter gun laws. But 40 percent of Americans still disagree with that even after Omar Mateen opened fire inside the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, murdering 49 people. What would be much more productive than waiting periods, background checks, uh, would be to get rid of the gun-free zones where this dirt bag operated in Orlando. Larry Pratt from Gun Owners of America wants fewer laws restricting gun ownership. We need to make it so that the good guys are able to act immediately when a bad guy strikes. To have to call the police and to wait five minutes, ten minutes, is to wait to die. The rifle that we legally purchased was transferred to a federally licensed firearm dealer and weapons instructor per state law within hours of us making the purchase. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia.